This game that you're looking at now is almost nine years old. And it still looks absolutely incredible. Stick around and I'm going to show you some nice hidden secrets like this one. I'm going to show you some incredible fights. And I'm going to show you how great this game still looks and why it's still worth purchasing in 2024. So sit back and dive in with me to Far Cry Primal. So Far Cry Primal came out in 2016. It was developed by Ubisoft. And it's uh, the 10th instalment of the Far Cry series, but for me, it's probably the best one they've made. I love Far Cry 5, I love Far Cry 3, but Far Cry Prime, well, there was something about it that when you're walking around, the, the world just felt really lived in, it just felt really immersive. Even though there was times when a lot of things didn't happen, you might just go around a corner, suddenly be met with a mammoth, or a saber-tooth, or a jaguar, and it, re it really kept you engaged. It was just such a fantastic game. Now it's set in prehistoric times, 10,000 BC, and again, the countdown clock at the beginning is one of the best intros I've seen on a game. The game follows the story of Takar, who starts off as an unarmed hunter, but he ends up rising to become the leader of his tribe, the Wenja. And he uses a special gift to tame animals. He's also got hunter vision, which gives him a leading edge on getting the bad guys. There's two tribes that fight against them. One that, uh, let's just say they eat people. It's, uh, they're not great, they look really cavemanish, And it's quite historically correct, because I remember that, um, I mean, I'm not a historian, but I do think that back then there was certain tribes fighting against each other and some of them were quite kind of really prehistoric still and the others weren't. There's another group that uh, throw fire, fire, so they're really difficult to fight against. You've got to obviously beat off these two tribes to become the leading tribe. Primal adapts the traditional Far Cry formula to its prehistoric setting, which I love. It replaces modern firearms and primitive weapons like spears, clubs and bows are more used. Allows players to uh, hunt in a more realistic fashion, which I love. Everyday survival is key in this game, you have to hunt for food to keep you and your animal alive whilst trying to avoid the other tribesmen and the natural predators. It was quite interesting that critics when it first came out criticised the game for having a lack of weapons and a lack of story. They said that it, uh, the game developers was considered to have a lack of innovation but it eventually went on to win multiple awards. An average rating of around 8 out of 10, but for me, I think it's almost a 10 out of 10. If I can pick this game up in 2024 and still enjoy it, I'm sure you can too. Now I want to go through a few reasons why I absolutely love this game, so sit back and enjoy the rest of this gameplay while I explain why this is one of the best Far Cries I think they've ever made. Now first up this scene, I'm hunting the Udam. He's got a light in his hand and the dark areas of this game are absolutely great, really immersive again and just look at the lighting effects as it reflects off the trees, it just looks so realistic. Take him out, the light is gone. If you also follow the hunter Udam, when they catch something, they'll put the meat over their shoulder, which I think is a great addition. The fights in this game are incredible. Just watch this one, how the cat attacks the throat like they would do in real life. And the same here. Going for the throat. I also love this, when they're eating to regain their health, you'll see as we zoom in, 
that you can actually see that it is eating something. I love the little add-ons like this as your tribe grows they start taking over different areas and you can see them celebrating that. Again adds to the immersion. You'll see here that a cat, I sent my cat to attack him and he's got claw marks all over his body. The other woman I attacked myself and she hasn't got any claw marks on so that again a great little addition. There's a lot of these hidden easter eggs, I'll just give you one if you go towards the western side of the map and jump in, you'll find Fred Flintstone's car. Let me know in the comments if you've played Far Cry Primal, which of the Far Cry do you think is better, and sit back and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Go lie down. 